Real Life Trading Nation. What is candle blending? You've probably never heard the term before, but most importantly, why should you watch this video and is it going to bring any value and impact your overall portfolio? Uh, yes. In fact, a lot of you have asked me for more price action videos and more candlestick videos because candles, they are the language of money. And if you want more money, you should probably master that language. My name is Jeremy Alexander Newsom, and I have been trading the stock market for over 15 years. I am a world renowned expert on candles and the language of money. My specialty is helping traders just like yourself from all over the world understand more about the markets, how they move and why they move. In this video, I'm going to do two things to blow your mind. Number one, we're going to talk about candle blending. And number two, I'm going to show you a very fun way to do it quicker. So if you want to skip ahead of that, you can. But if you want to learn why and what the importance is, stay tuned for the whole video. Candle blending takes multiple days of candles or multiple time frames of candles and merges them together, giving you a bigger overall context, really some juicy substance on what's happening. And all you have to do is take the high and the open and the close and the low of any time period that you're looking at and just merge them together. Once you merge them together, it will give you what is the sentiment for the last period of time. If you're wondering, you're trying to learn for yourself. So here on Coinbase, since we're talking on Coinbase, let's just use it and let's go blend the last two weeks. So we're going to start on Monday, that day, and then we're going to go to today, here. Now, the very, very first candle of your candle blending, you're going to start with the open. Okay. So on this move, we're going to have an open like this. And let me actually go ahead and take off the arrow now. Bink, bink, bink. Perfect. So there we have just a flat, normal open. And then you're going to go to the close, the close of this time period, which is right here. Bink. And then you're going to go with the high. Bink. And you're going to go with the lows. Boink. Now we're going to go ahead and draw some lines. And last one. And there's your candle. Now you take off the top, take off the bottom. And for the last two weeks on Coinbase, you would have, if we filled it in this body, you're going to have a bullish high wave, slightly indecision candle with a little bit of a lower shadow. So for the last two weeks on Coinbase, what's the valid use of this candle? Well, I can tell you. This particular candle is very often followed by a break higher, a retest, since it has a nice lower shadow, and then a continuation higher. This particular candle right here, in fact, looks exactly like you know, that candle. So the candle that I'm pointing to here is pretty much almost the exact same style of candle that you would get if you blended the last two weeks together on Coinbase. Again, why is this useful? Well, because it allows you to take the overall sentiment of something, blend it into a time period and say, okay, all of this time period shows me this type of sentiment. And what does the next candle period look like if I have this particular candle? Well, the best way to find that is go find that particular candle on your charts and look at what happens afterwards. So again, there you go. Nice little bull candle. So you're going to get a good little bull pop. And then again, over the next, I don't know, three or four days, you'll get something like this on Coinbase and then you'll get that higher move. Go ahead. Just watch. So now I can see that that's exactly what we're getting on this particular candle. Pretty cool stuff. All right. So now let's go into, I don't know, a really, really big time frame. Uh, let's go look at Palantir. And Palantir, this is one of the strongest gaps I've ever seen in my entire life, without question. And I'm just letting you all know, this gap, it's never going to fill. Uh, neither is this one here that was created uh, back on last earnings. So November 1st to November 2nd, we actually have an open gap overall. And I'm going to do a nice long candle blend. I'm going to go from this candle meow, to this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that entire chunk. And trust me, there's no teacher on the stock market talking about candle blending. I'm the only one. It's okay. I just love these things. We're going to start from here. We're going to go all the way to here. And what again, I'm going to take all of this and comprise it by starting with an open. So here's an open. 
The close is a little bit lower than that. So here's the close. And that, that means that this is going to be a bare candle. So let's just go ahead and make these colors red for all intents and purposes. And by the way, five or six years ago, I used to say all intensive purposes. And I learned how to say that correctly. So you learn things every day. Next, uh, I'll fill in the body. You know, you know. Okay, so we got a red candle. And we have a really, really nice high. So we're going to go all the way up. So we got a strong high. And then we did go lower, but just barely. Nope. So this particular candle on Palantir, all of this consolidation here, is essentially a bearish shooting star. Uh, this should, could, should and could get filled in uh, red here. So this would be, again, a strong bare candle with a nice upper shadow. And what's happening here? Well, the last three days, the last four days, if you blended this candle to here, what are we getting? Well, I'll show you. You're going to get essentially a shaved bottom. And now let's make this color green. So you're going to get from here. Gosh, this is so good. And <laughs> this is essentially the candle that you're getting right now. So this is the candle that comprised the last three months. And this, this candle is the last week. So when you get a candle pattern like this, a strong bull candle engulfing and closing past a shooting star candle, what do you normally get? Well, you're going to get a retest of the high of the shooting star and then a continuation higher, which means on Palantir and a real life example, you're going to get at some point a pullback into here and then a what? And you might go, nah, I knew some, there's no way. And you're going to fast forward the video and you're going to pull up your charts and go, well, this dude just might be a wizard. The language is that of Mordor, which I will not utter here. That's candle blending. Now, let me show you another way to do this a little faster, but still not as beautifully or eloquent as you doing it yourself. I love candle blending on all time frames. The truth is my brain will kind of see it anyway. And once you see it, you'll never be able to unsee it. Just like the candlestick in the logo of Real Life Trading. But as you are really understanding how you can blend candles to understand sentiment, to then really dive into the juiciness and the medium rare steakiness with mashed potatoes and beautiful mac and cheese of the sentiment of the markets, you're going to begin to figure out that you will learn how people can make such bold claims about a particular stock, about a particular setup, and you can start getting in with a little bit more size, power, understanding, depth, and conviction, right? Well, if you want a little bit of faster candle blending, in TradingView at least, you have the ability to hotkey it by typing in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, followed by either day, week, or quarter. So as an example, all these candles are about to get blended into two-day candles. So if I click two and D, now I know that you didn't know that, and it's really cool. That deserves a like and a subscribe, right? If you're like, what? You can do two-day candles in TradingView. Come on, hit the subscribe button. That's juicy. Can you do it for three days? Yes, you can. Three and D. So now everything that we're doing, we're blending each candle into three candles, adding them together, merging them together so you can get the juiciness and the context of the pattern. Doesn't this pattern look a little bit more interesting to you now? Now we've blended it. And five days is just one week. So there's no reason to do that. But if you do four days, here's four days. And again, if you did five days, right, this is every candle blend in five days, which is just a weekly chart. Then if for some reason you did eight days, I guess you could, but now every single candle is an eight day candle. And what you're going to notice is right there, you got a beautiful gap and go on the eight day candlestick chart, which no one's talking about. And that's why I'm letting you know that this gap's not going to fill. And if it does, um, Come back to my channel and hate on me for it. It's okay. So there's your eight day candlestick pattern. Now, if you want to do three weeks, let's do a little bit of a bigger stock for that. Let's go to Google and let's type in a three W. So now every single candle is three weeks. And again, maybe just gives you some more context, some more richness to the overall chart, some more depth. And that is a really, really cool approach. Two months, each candle is two months, right? Now we're going to click log. We're going to click auto scale. So now every single one of these candles is two months. I know that you're going to find value in this. And the truth is, if you sit down and you think and grow rich, one of the best exercises you can ever do is run up some Napoleon Hills. Therefore, when you come up with intentionality and you say to yourself, what I'm going to do is find a really great, solid, strong time frame that maybe other people aren't using or thinking about, like, I don't know, a three-day chart 
because three is a fib number. You start combining a three day chart with some three types of moving averages, maybe a, a 13. Oh, we could have fun. That's a whole video by itself. A three day chart with a 13 EMA. Oh, come on. Using fib numbers, using the ability for you to become your own wizard and realizing that none of that matters if you don't go, here are my rules, here's what I'm gonna use it for, here's how I'm gonna take all the information that I know, all the strategies, all the awareness, all the candle knowledge, all the gap knowledge, all the moving averages, none of it matters unless you actually use it, unless you implement it. If you had a strategy to buy Google off this big red line, and you didn't buy Google off that big red line, well, it's good that you know it, but you're still broke. So you should probably begin to say, hey, here's what I know, here's why it works, and begin to really use it to propel your trading. And using all this information is why I can also say on the daily chart, this gap on Google is gonna get filled before March 18th. So if this video gets edited by my perfect, amazing, incredible video team, hashtag Calvin Williams, if this gets out before March 18th, go and look at it. And if it doesn't, well, you just know that I can time travel. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and you found at least one thing that will shift your trading just a little bit, give you new insights, and of course, entirely for free. Hit the like button or the subscribe button if you haven't already. And ladies and gentlemen, until next time, love life, love life, and trade. Bye.